Morning. Johnny Hook here. More accurately, Johnny Hoist. All of our fun toys laying around. When I say toys, I should say equipment. So, subject of the day, let me flip this. Meet Goldie, aka Naked Lady. Interesting story here. This truck was in our tow yard when I went to work for the company. It used to be eight foot bedded, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this was eight foot bed. Anyway, the lady took our local law enforcement on a chase, and I do mean a chase, long. That <laughs> She ran the shit out of them, which she did. Then when they blocked her in, she pushed her way out. So the truck pretty much didn't have a straight body panel on it, hence why it's green. Its donor was a, and the astute amongst you will already know this, a six liter truck that sadly at 140 some thousand lost a head gasket. I still have that motor. I think it's a good, good core anyway, neither here nor there, and a transmission with it. All the body parts shifted over onto good old Naked here. And the reason we call it Naked is because the tweaker individual that owned it was a female and she was not wearing any clothes and the interior was so nasty that it all come out and I put the interior out of the green truck in it. The While it says 350 Super Duty, it is actually an F250 2007 3 truck. What we're going to do is we're going to ditch the pickup bed. We're going to put a set of dually axles underneath it. Uh, 430 gears. My boy Dennis hooked me up. Not to mention I probably should uh, give a little shout out to his people down at the uh, Iron King Junkyard. They had them and they helped us out. So I got a dually width rear. Dually set up front with the right spacers. We're going to put a flatbed on it. We're going to set it up for being able to tow RVs and goosenecks without having interference, which is why we have two identical puckers in the side of Freedom over here from Overzealous. There's one right there and one just a little off towing practices. Anyway, and if at all possible, I have a repo style wheel lift that we are going to put under the butt of this. It's kind of short. <laughs> More look at it, it's a lot short. But I think we're going to make it work, and it's going to do two different things. It's going to allow me to haul odd stuff, and uh, it'll just act as a back bumper. Screw it. So anyway, that's the basic truck. There's a little bit of the <laughs> stuff from the carnage. Like I said, she uh, she give our officers a run and a half. It has had a tranny issue, as far as I know, since the day we got it. Um, but uh, I've got a standard transmission. I've also got a manual shift transfer case, the right vintage to go in here, so that flippy button shift on the fly stuff is going to go away. I despise it. I do not like turning my four-wheel drive on with a switch. It usually causes headaches. So we'll walk you in amongst the mess. There's a frame sticking out over there. That's actually got ZF5 speed that quite possibly, most likely, will go into that truck in time. But right here's the gold. Um, I asked for a dually width rear end and a set of spacers. What my guy got me was a dually width rear end and a dually width front end. And like I said, the kicker is they're 410 gears. So we got that going for us. How long am I into this already? Maybe we'll just run this as an introduction and do day-to-day -day updates. Um, keep them short. We got Dory's van on the lift. Got a bunch of parts in for that. We've actually got it running, the brakes working. Uh, hopefully we'll be having that out so she can drive it soon. But right now, because I believe I have all the parts I need, or damn close, probably going to have to buy a rear drive shaft. Well, I think it's uh, Adams or Nick. It's something up in Vegas we use. Stickers in the back window. I'm sorry, I can't think of your name. Anyway, they do do good job. So, um, like I said, with that, 
she's coming in here the box is going to come off and we're going to get putting parts on and like i said nice thing about this i didn't say it to you and i said like i said about a half a dozen times but the cool part about it is uh this will come together quickly i love fords they're modular that's why it's so easy to take a f-250 and make a one ton out of it there really is no difference other than the old trucks one ran twin i-beam but otherwise the frame as far as i know it's the same thickness frame all that it's just heavier axles so we're going to beef that old girl like i said i'm hoping the wheel lift is going to work underneath it i will keep you apprised so from here in the shop without my glasses because <laughs> i'm blind it's a mess but we've been working on it too really can't tell but we got stuff going on anyway guys we'll see you up the road and i'll keep you posted on this more come